Here is our first project for our 2020 ESY program. And our first project is going to be string painting. So some of the materials that you're going to need to do that are some string, and you're gonna need something to tie the string to. It, clothes pins work really, really well because we can clip them on the cup and they're pretty easy to hold on to. Another option, if you don't have clothes pins around, are either paper clips or even just a stick, okay? The other thing you're gonna need is something to put the paint into. So these cups work well, or even a can. And you're gonna need some paper, okay? I'm using construction paper, and the first step is going to be to fold that construction paper in half. Now, when I cut my string to attach it onto the clothespin or whatever I'm using, I'm gonna make, wanna make sure that that string has enough length to go across diagonally across the paper when it's folded. Okay. So once you have your cups and your paint in the cup and the string is nice and goopy with paint, I'm going to take two fingers and I'm going to hold the string and I'm going to pull the string through my fingers. And this is a part where adults could definitely help students if they need help by either doing the pulling and letting the student pinch the string or by, letting, by pinching the string and letting the student pull the string through, okay? Then we're going to drop the string on part of the paper and we're going to close it. And this is a great opportunity to give the students an opportunity to press down on the paper with their hands. And we can say press, 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 press. And then we have a choice. We can either open it up and just look at what type of design we made and pick up the string, or I could just hold down my hand and we could pull the string out and it will make a little bit of a different type of design. We are going to repeat that step with multiple colors, pulling the string through our fingers, putting it down on the paper and closing and pulling. And if you notice, I have newspaper on my table because this can get a little bit messy. I'm also wearing gloves, although you don't need to. It really depends on what type of paint you're using. And you can repeat the process again and again. One great activity to do after you complete it is to look at the picture, adults with students, and think about what you see. I'm kind of seeing some sort of dog here, okay? But you, you can look at whatever you make and have a really nice conversation about that, okay? And I can't wait to see your artwork on Thursdays when we have our art show and share at one o'clock, okay? You'll see the link to that in your teacher's Schoolology page under the art folder, okay? Have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.